Hello there, Aronair here and today we are going to review Pylos faction. We are starting with Nestor. This hero might have weak stats, but he is able to spam his abilities thanks to his rage gain out of the combat. So because of this, he is able to pop to boost his units. Uh, this one, Hallowed Ground, is very good. Combine it with uh, RS Thunder and enemies will melt. Uh, lead by example is for free. And Truce is very good for Chariots. So, in battles he will be spamming abilities. Now, let's continue with his roster. In early game we are starting with Militia. Militia is very basic, uh, expendable fodder and usually I do not recommend it for efficient uh, gameplay. Instead, I recommend you using standard Young Spears. These boys are very good, uh, good weapon and good charge. Next unit is uh, Pile of Stone Watch. It is a very interesting alternative to Young Spears. Uh, they have similar stats, they are slightly faster, they have similar charge bonus and one unique ability, the Kentaurian Wedge. Uh, this ability, when I use it like this, they will make a Wedge formation. They will align like this. It looks beautiful, it's giving them more charge and mo more charge speed, so the best is using this right before you charge into enemy. So, and because of their good speed you are able to use this actively. So they are just like young spears, but you need to use ability to make them even better. Next we have frontline, pylon light spearmen. They are just like uh, st your standard spearmen. Uh, maybe they have weaker stats, but they have another active ability, the shield wall formation. It gives them a lot of melee defense and armor and they are able to eat arrows. They have 55% block, block right now, but they will get a lot of more. So, this front line is requiring your attention. When you activate it, they will very nicely go to the shield wall formation. And let's have a look. They have 90% bl shield block. They have 50 defense, 45 uh, armor. And a couple of more seconds more, they will be very good at uh, dealing with enemy units. So, uh, Pylos roster right from the early game is very interesting and you are able to do much better when you use your abilities. Next, uh, in early game you have access to Light Swordsmen uh, from Watchtower. They are efficient uh, flankers. You need to use them as flankers because of the ability, otherwise they are quite bad at dueling or charging. For the missiles, we have standard Akian Slingers. I do recommend using them in the early game. They are very efficient. Uh, they have a lot of ammunition. Another early game unit, we have access to skirmishers. This, uh, Javelins are very fast and with 100 models, which is more than many other missiles, they are able to deal a lot of damage and skirmishing, so they are really good uh, at de deleting enemy missiles. Then we move to the mid game. Uh, we are starting with the Pillion City Guards. They are slightly improved, they have finally the flanking attack bonus, good stats 
their weapon is against wards. And this is very specialized charger. You have to use the Cantaran Wedge ability in the right moment to deal a lot of charge damage. These guys will be your sh will be like your shock uh, chargers. You can any time deactivate it. They will go back to their standard formation to have uh, their good speed. Next we have P uh, Pillian Spearmen. They are very good frontline. Uh, they are not so good at dueling enemy units. But again, you are going to actively use shield wall formation to make them very good at holding the line. Fif 59 defense is a lot for a mid tier front line. They, these guys will hold and 70 armor and 90 missile block. Mm, very nice. So, next we have... Club Warriors, they are very favorite good uh, flankers, amazing stats, good weapon, they throw javelins. I always recommend them during any campaign, they are going to do a lot of damage. Then we got also more armored unit, Pillian Swordsman. These flankers are meant to support your front line on sides. They are not going to run around that well like club warriors, but they will be able to do a lot of melting on sides. They are well equipped and look at them. Next we have standard bowmen in mid game. I do not recommend this unit from the boyard building. Uh, you use the boyard building for more ammunition. Instead, I recommend you to use these pillion archers. They are having standard range and very good missile damage. They are very standard missiles, but uh, much better than bowmen. And lastly, we, we have chariots, melee medium chariots, uh, like every other Achaean faction. But this one is also able to use the wedge formation. And you can have this wedge formation all the time. You are going to have a lot of charge bonus. And you still have 60 speed which is very good. And I recommend using this chariot with the wedge formation. You can deactivate it to uh, run away from missiles. Otherwise, these guys are going to deal a lot of damage. 50 charge on chariot mid tier. Mm, nice. Next, let's move to the late game. We have the Pilos Palace Guards. These are heavy chargers with a lot of attack and charge. They have pretty strong weapon. And again, with this wedge formation, you can deliver very strong charge 55 charge is so much they will be able to deal a lot of damage they are, they are very heavy chargers next we have companions of Nestor again frontline with shield war formation this time their flanking defense is improved so they are not gonna lose their 52 or wait for it, it 72 defense oh my god so with these guys you can be like Corimantis but better 90% block yeah you will love this unit but you need to really activate this ability in order to benefit Next, to support this amazing frontline, we got Pillion Sword Masters. Uh, they are pretty good um, at dueling and supporting your flank. Uh, 
There is not much to be said about them. You can have one on each flank and that would be enough. Next, for late game archers I recommend using Pillion Veteran Archers. Uh, they are kind of standard as other missiles, but Pylos is very versatile and with such standard archers you can do a lot. You can play it as you want. They are pretty solid uh, and that's it. Next we have Pillian Heavy Chariots. They are very heavy, very, very good. Comparable to other chariots, even better I would say. And let's see, 55 charge, 72 speed. But now we can have the wedge formation all to all time. And look at this charge. 69 charge on the heavy chariot. Hmm. Nice. This is going to deal tons of damage. But be careful. Uh, this is very expensive. Uh, unit and with only 8 models instead of 12. So you are going to deal a lot of damage but you don't have enough models and it is quite balanced. Now I will just quickly show you how you are going to probably use your yes. units. Let's say you got the front line on the side you are going to use flankers, behind them, behind all of them you got the miss, uh, archers, yes. You have to be very active with your chargers as they will be going around and only charge, only activating ability before it crashes into the enemy. So you activate it and right click to enemy. And with chariots, if enemy is pinned you can go and charge. They would be very good. So with pilots you can play this uh, like any other faction. You have to use abilities actively and if you do so you will have a lot of fun and many victories. I hope you like this and see you uh, later.